Hi, this is Mimi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be making an easy ephemera pocket for Happy Mail. I'm going to make it in two different sizes, and I'm using this Simple Stories Homegrown. I don't have the full collection. This came in my mystery box when I got the Simple Stories mystery box. It's not the full collection because it does not have the stickers, but I believe it has every paper, but it doesn't have the stickers, which I'm okay with. But I grabbed these two pieces here, and I thought we would do this in two sizes. We would do it in a bigger size if you want to send it out a little bit bigger, and we will do it in a size that will fit an A2 envelope. All right, that is my plan. So let's cut these down to size. Um, let's see. This one is Feed and Seed. And this one is Rise and Shine. So let's cut them down to size. I feel like um, we need to cut this down to four, right? Four and a quarter, Durr. four and a quarter. Four and a quarter and then 10, right? 11, four and a quarter by 11. I can math, I promise you. I really can. So four and a quarter by 11, and then this will just get put away. And then this one, let's do this one a little bit bigger. Let's do it six inch by 12. So it'll be six I'm thinking. Six by 12? Did I cut my paper wrong? Because I was not paying attention. Probably. I probably did. But that's okay. That's all right, everybody. I will survive. I will just cut off two inches of this paper for a pocket. <laughs> it's all right. I was too worried thinking about the math. But you know what? I'm glad I'm doing it this way. Glad. Let's do this one two and a half. It might need to be a little bit bigger. All right. It's fine. We will live. We will survive. So we have these two cut. This one goes this one, but I wanted it this way. So I'm kind of glad that I cut it wrong. Same with this one. I wanted it this way. What I'm going to do is glue the pockets on. Glue. Yeah. Otherwise, what would have happened was it would have flipped up and it would have been like this. And I would not have been happy with that. So, I'm glad. I'm glad my mistake in not paying attention worked out in the end. Okay. I also like the thought of having it m like matching. All right, so we're going to glue this together. I'm trying today to get as many videos done as I can because I have a commission I have to start, but I also need videos. So it's one of them things. We're just going to fold it. Actually, let's wait for that to dry very well, so we'll do the next one. Hope they were right side up. It's fine. We're all fine here. Or do I want that for the outside? I think I want the pink on the outside and this on the inside. Yep. There's an intruder in our midst. I can hear him at the washing machine. Hold on. Okay, I had to ask him a question and I could not hear his answer. You would think you'd be able to hear with um, how easily you can hear the washer and everything, but no, could not hear him. Okay, so that one is done and ready to go. And then we just fold this one. And this one should fit nicely into an envelope. 
And granted, you're going to have to go and you're going to have to pay more to mail it out, but it's not going to be as much as putting it in a um, why can't I think? In a bigger envelope. And we have some Velcro dots to keep it closed. Okay. This would also be really good for in a journal. Did you hear it? It's being creepy. Okay, so we have Velcro dots closing them. And all I would do, me, plug my glue is fill it with homemade ephemera or pre-bought ephemera. So this is all my homemade. I would just pull this kind of stuff out. And fill it with this kind of stuff here. That one's not gonna fit. Fill it with all kinds of homemade goodies. Like so, close it up and it, let's see, here we go. I, ha I happen to have an envelope right here. And look, fits perfect, except it's not all the way in the envelope, but it fits perfect. Okay, and you can send that out, and then this one, you do the same thing. You just fill it with all kinds of little goodies. And then you close it up and you can put that in an envelope and send it off on its way. And it was very easy and if you don't forget to make it two inches or two and a half inches bigger depending on. So this one you would cut at six and a quarter. Six and a quarter by 11 and you score on the six and a quarter side at two inches. Okay, if you don't want to cut it off and do it the way I did it. And this one you would cut at eight inches, eight and a half inches, eight and a half inches and score on the eight and a half inch side at two and a half inches. Okay, let me write that down for you because we all know I'm not going to remember to write it down. I'm not going to remember to write it down in the description box. So for the A2 size, you want it to be 11 by 6 and a quarter scored at 2 inch. Okay? And the bigger one is eight and a half by 12 scored at two and a half. Okay. Well, let me zoom in for y'all. How's that? Okay, there you go. Those are the sizes that are needed. All right. But there you go. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like this quick and easy project. It is very quick and easy and honestly, I would enjoy getting this in the mail. It would be fun for me to get this in the mail. Wouldn't it be fun for you? Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next crafting video. Have a great rest of your day.